Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want life coaching or mentoring, go check out my website at skyazrael.com. I want to talk about masculinity again. I've talked about this topic repeatedly, and every time I talk about it, I come at it from a different angle. There's different types of masculinity. There's not just one brand of masculinity. For example, you have the uh, type of guy who is heavily focused on status, right? These are the, the alpha males, that, this alpha male movement that it's become really popular. People weren't as focused on being the alpha, being the leader of the group. When you talk about being an alpha male, you're specifically talking about being the leader of a group of your group. Some people just, when they say alpha, what they mean is a strong man as opposed to beta, which would be a weak man, and they've simplified it. Now that, that may be your simplified definition, and you can define anything how you want to define it, but normally, anthropologically, or even psychologically, when we talk about being an alpha male, we're talking about status and somebody who wants to rise up that hierarchy, the dominance hierarchy. You may have heard that term. We see this in the animal world. It's natural. Lobsters have an animal, uh, excuse me, a dominance hierarchy. Lobsters have been around before, before trees. You know, uh, all kinds of animals have dominance hierarchies. So when people try to judge it as bad. I mean, you know, look what planet you're on. <laughs> Maybe you want to be on a different planet. However, that's not the only type of masculinity. There's the lone wolf. The lone wolf is different than the alpha. They have similar qualities, except for the fact that the lone wolf is not looking to be a part of a group. The lone wolf isn't looking to dominate a group. The lone wolf will sometimes interact with a pack of wolves and then go back off on its own. Particularly to come in and have sex with some women and then to go back off and to travel the woods by himself. You see uh, lions that are off on their own. Some lions are part of a, a, a tribe, or, you know, a, what do they call it, a pride, a pride of lions. And some, some young males are just out on their own, looking to start their own little pride, join one. So we see this amongst predators, amongst dominant creatures. There's the family man, and then there's the loner. I'm not judging either. You can choose whichever one you want. My personal opinion is that you may have more daily joy having a family and being a part of that family structure typically lone wolves, it's just like the term says. If you have a family, you're not a lone wolf. <laughs> Your lone wolves are alone, but they like it that way. It's just a different mentality. The lone wolf may not really understand the family man in the way that You know, maybe the Fonz <laughs> didn't understand Mr. Cunningham, you know? They're just two different kinds of people. But both have their dominance, They're, both have their power, their strength. I point out these two types of masculinity because I wanted to point out what isn't masculinity? 
So we have two working models for what masculinity is. You can be the alpha male, you can be the uh, lone wolf, both are fine choices. We may be able to think of others, you guys might be able to think of others. But let's just identify quickly what masculinity isn't. And sometimes when we identify what something isn't, it makes it easier to know what it is. And it's important to fully understand masculinity, especially, well, I mean, for young guys, but I also want to add older guys. Not that older men have such a problem with it. I think when you get into your 40s and late 40s, mid 40s, somewhere around there, biologically, you start to become more confident in your survival and you uh, it often become more masculine. And I've seen that transformation happen from people that are 36 and 37 and they act one way and by the time they get to be 42, 43, they start to act a completely different way. They're starting to become men. But us older guys need to know how to teach it. Masculinity is taught. It's always taught across all species. It's taught. Little baby chimpanzees learn how to be dominant alpha male chimpanzees by being with their fathers, older brothers, that kind of thing. Little boys learn how to be men by hanging out with men. And men have to teach it. That's why you have to be a living example, but also a teacher. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you guys a heavy load to carry, but you want to carry on the tradition of Western civilization and everything wonderful that we've created, or do you want us to just crumble? And if you know, we don't preach and teach and promote and live masculinity, I think that society crumbles, at least our society does. So fake masculinity, what isn't masculinity, would be, in my opinion, the worship of money. Now, I want to be careful when I talk about this because I'm a capitalist. I like money. <laughs> I enjoy having lots of money in my bank account. I enjoy having stock market investments. And when those go up, when my, my guy tells me it's been a good year, I'm like, woo woo. I'm not like, oh, well, let's burn the system down. I'm like, fuck yeah, maybe I'll go buy a, a muscle car. But the worship of money is not masculinity. This worship, you see this online on some YouTube channels and Instagram. You see these dudes that are promoting themselves as super jacked. They're on steroids. They're trying to promote that you could be like this too. All you got to do is work out a little bit. Meanwhile, these guys are fucking taking steroids like crazy and not telling you really what they're going through. They worship fucking money in this way where they're always trying to promote this lifestyle. Look at this lifestyle. Look at my Lamborghini. Look at my Bentley. Look at my penthouse. Look at this. Look at that. And it gets to be... You know, for me, I have a working class mindset. I'm just like, man, it's annoying as shit watching some motherfucker dance around in the mirror like a fucking peacock trying to show off his little feathers, trying to show off for everybody, to get everybody to say, man, you're cool. I don't look at that as masculinity. I look at that as femininity. I think it's a feminine trait to want to flaunt, to want to show off. I know that sounds judgmental, but we just want to identify what masculinity isn't so we can understand what masculinity is. And when we talk about feminine traits, you're automatically talking about something where masculinity isn't. <laughs> so this worship of money, cars, mansions, I want to add into that high fashion because high fashion is expensive. Oh my God. I had some friends in LA. It's, a, it's, it's in certain areas. Where I live here at the beach, luckily fashion is not a really big deal. The, the restaurants here are not uh, suit and tie restaurants. You could go to the most expensive restaurant and still spend $400 on your dinner, but you could go in flip-flops. It's the beach. 
However, when I was in LA, I knew guys that were wearing $400 shoes, $200 socks, spending $50 on a set of boxers, the fucking t-shirt. I get a set of wife beaters from the goddamn sloths and fucking swap meet, rip them out of the package, put one on. These guys have one fucking tank top that costs them $80 over in department store in Beverly Hills, whatever. I can't fucking get down with that shit. I think that that kind of thing is also feminine where you're... Uh, high fashion motherfucker and guys who promote themselves that way there's lots of weird fashion pages on YouTube but I've watched a couple of them and uh, they promote masculinity and fashion at the same time and I don't know how to get down with that I I'm more utilitarian and functional with my clothing I could wear the same shit every single day because I'm a fucking guy I don't need to drive a Lamborghini I need a fucking pickup truck because I'm a fucking man I, you know but whatever I, it's, I sound judgmental on that but this is my opinion I think that the worship of money and the flaunting of money is not masculinity so the other aspect which I've noticed is not masculinity fake masculinity we'll bust it out real quick don't want the video to go too long I had a football game to watch anyways it's how some of these guys are treating women if you're real angry towards women you got like this real grudge towards women they're real bossy, real aggressive towards women. You need some psychiatry help, in my personal opinion. That's weird. A king needs a queen. A real man loves women. He doesn't hate on women. To understand the roles of man and woman, of, of masculine and feminine, doesn't mean one's better than the other. We have different roles. We each have masculine and feminine within us. So you can, you can understand the role of femininity when you realize that as a balanced, well-rounded person, well-grounded person, not some weirdo, that you have a feminine side and you can identify those feminine si traits within you. And it doesn't mean that you're gay or whatever. It's just that can be identified as a feminine trait. All you motherfuckers that like jewelry. That's a feminine trait. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I got a big old giant fucking chain with a skull on it. Makes me feel masculine when I wear it. Heavy jewelry and all that kind of crap is, 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 could be identified as feminine. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's just good to know that we have these two sides so you can understand the role that other people have. These guys that hate, that, that, that hate on women are not masculine. Men that only chase pussy are not masculine. Men that idolize women in this Kim Kardashian kind of Instagram way where that's the ideal woman. Anything less is not even worth looking at or talking to and the only kind of woman that they acknowledge and it, 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 they just get into this stripper culture, chasing tits and ass. That's not masculinity. That's not manhood. So, I think that's a, a, a good place to just stop for a little bit. I, with anything that I talk about, I always have more. When I, all these videos, I could go for another 12, 13 minutes. But let's just marinate on this. It's all food for thought. Thanks for watching.